Hey folks, today we're diving into the untold history of Toronto's destruction and rebuilding. You might know Toronto as the bustling metropolis it is today, but its past is far more dramatic than you might think. Ready to uncover some hidden chapters? Let's get started. First, let's talk about the Great Fire of 1904. Imagine a quiet night on April 19th and then boom, a fire breaks out in E&S Curry Limited, a neckwear factory. Fueled by high winds and wooden buildings, the fire spread rapidly. Over 100 buildings were reduced to ashes and the city's heart was left in ruins. But here's where it gets interesting. The fire led to the implementation of stricter building codes and fire safety measures, shaping the modern architectural landscape of Toronto. Fast forward to the 1950s. Toronto faced another wave of destruction, but this time it was self-inflicted. The city embarked on massive urban renewal projects, tearing down historic neighborhoods to make way for new developments. The most notable victim was the St. John's Ward, a vibrant immigrant community. Bulldozing these areas led to public outcry and eventually sparked the heritage conservation movement in the city. Now, let's talk about Hurricane Hazel in 1954. This natural disaster wreaked havoc on Toronto, causing catastrophic flooding and widespread damage. The aftermath was devastating, but it also led to significant changes in urban planning. The city established flood control measures and expanded green spaces to prevent future disasters. Fast forward to the late 20th century, Toronto's skyline began to rise, quite literally. The construction boom of the 1970s and 80s brought iconic buildings like the CN Tower and the First Canadian Place. These structures became symbols of Toronto's resilience and ambition. So what's the takeaway here? Toronto's history of destruction and rebuilding is a testament to its resilience and adaptability. Each phase of destruction paved the way for innovation, better planning, and a stronger community spirit. Next time you're walking through Toronto's streets, remember the stories buried beneath the modern facade. It's not just about buildings. It's about the spirit of a city that refuses to be beaten. Thanks for tuning in, and if you enjoyed this dive into Toronto's untold history, Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating stories from the past. Catch you in the next one.